Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, it is Thursday, the 7th of January, but you'll probably get to see this video on Saturday the 9th of January. It's around half three in the afternoon and it's really cold and damp today in Blackpool. It's completely the opposite of what it was yesterday. Yesterday the air was so clear and clean and crisp and today everything's dull and cold and damp. Oh, I wonder where that noise was coming from. That's where it's coming from. There's Mark Kelly's. Closed obviously. Everything's closed down here. Yeah, today it's like the air is wet. It's not actually raining, but the air itself feels damp. When I was little, I used to think this was the weather that always gave you a cold. There is the lifeboat in. Closed right now, but I'm sure it will be open soon. The street I'm passing now is Yorkshire Street. Yorkshire Street is already on the streets of Blackpool series if you want to take a look at that. Oh, Seasider Pizza Kebab House. It's like Blackpool is a town of punny shop names. Welcome to Blackpool's Alien UFO and Paranormal Exhibition. Somebody actually asked me to film down here, this, around this area at least, because they were asking me if I remembered the fire a few years back. And I do remember it. Massive fire, there's a lot of destruction. I oh, forgot about somebody's chucked out a treadmill from the looks of it. Maybe it's a fixer upper. Who knows? Very quiet round here. Everything's closed up. Cottage cafe, closed. It feels like an early Sunday evening. That's what it feels like. But really it's just Thursday afternoon. There's the Washington building with that nice little 1930 date on the top. Looks like it's been built from the same bricks as the Winter Gardens. There's the nameplate. Give you a better look at that. Down there is Foxhall Market. That is where the fire took hold. Just walk to the end of here. Everything up here is three storeys high. Got a nice looking fish and chip shop there that is open for takeaway. And also another one, the sea traditional fish and chips, also open for takeaway. Blackpool is definitely the capital of the world for fish and chips. And now I'm heading on to the promenade. Just going to leave Foxhall Road. Foxhall Road is already on my Streets of Blackpool series for those of you that haven't seen it. I'm just going to get across this road quick. This bike's about to change, so I need to hustle. You see the tower there in shot. I'm just going to turn the camera around now and look behind me. That place you can see there, Tower Gifts. A few years ago, or well, probably more than a few years ago, that used to be a McDonald's. There you can see Central Pier. 
that is closed and here is where the old underground subway was it's across the promenade that's going to be filled in soon but the entrance is around here and we go down them steps across the promenade underground and even go to the toilet on the way across if you want it. That's a good starling there. And I think it's starting to rain now. That's quite a good pump of starlings. It's nowhere near as many as we saw on North Pier last week. The rest shut down here. It's very dull looking, don't you think? It's a nice little trough there for the horses if you fancy a drink but obviously there's no land house out today Space. Be, mer be merciful all be merciful to all God's creatures that says Door there, the central beach holiday flats with vacancies. I didn't realize they were holiday flats up there, it makes sense. But it's one of those buildings I've just walked past many, many times but not really thought about what's up there. Some new tarmac there. This is Madame Tussauds of Blackpool, the wax works. I've been in here before but it was absolutely years ago I've definitely not been in in modern times I went in when I was probably a teenager or my early 20s Blackpool Council down there Not a lot going on this promise the folks At least you have me to keep you company as we walk along this dull, dreary, damp, cold promenade and it's actually already starting to get dark although the nights are supposed to be getting lighter now by a couple of minutes a night so we're supposed to be getting lighter evenings My favourite part of the year is when the sun is out till like 9 or even 10 o'clock at night on certain days and it never ever seems to get properly dark. I absolutely don't like the weather in the winter where on dull days like this it never actually seems to get light. You know those days, like today is one of them. It just stays that dull grey twilighty feel all day. So I don't really so much mind the cold, but it's just the dim darkness I'm not a fan of. The Sea Life Centre Black Hole is not closed right now. But I'm sure that we'll be back at some point, bigger and better than ever. And the Golden Mile Amusement, very famous. That's supposed to be going, isn't it, as part of this new chariots of the gods development somebody said that was going I have looked at the plans for that not in the privileged peak sense looking at any official plans I've just looked at the artist impressions that have been on display for the general public and anyone who wants to look can look at them sort of way Coral Island there. I keep thinking it's starting to rain and I keep feeling like solitary raindrops just oozing out of the sky and dripping on my fingers or my camera but it is it really is like the air is wet it doesn't feel like actual rain I am 
I'm going to finish this video now. So I'm going to thank you for watching. Please leave me a like and a comment. And please subscribe. And I will see you all very, very soon in the next video. Goodbye.